Hey everybody, two boys, one brain cell. I'm Joel Norton and this is Chuck Beeson and today yeah. we're checking out a Patreon request for some propaganda. A people's history of the world. Ooh, I might like this. And this is off of Less Talk, More Rock. And you know what that means guys, every time we do it, smash that like button. <laughs> Just all right. <laughs> lyrically, it's went pretty fucking hard. Yeah, lyrically, this is okay. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, the song itself, I'm like, it's okay. Yeah, but the lyrics definitely carry this. Oh yeah, out. um, for sure. If the rabble heard the truth, they'd organize against the power, privilege, and wealth hoarded by the few. Yep, and for, that, and it's for no, no one, one else. else. And did it occur to you that it's almost exactly the same today? And so if our schools won't teach us, we'll have to teach ourselves to analyze and understand the systems of thought control. And I love that. And I love how it's that's literally what they're doing with the song. Yeah. Yeah. They're like, hey, they won't teach us shit. This, obviously, it's ran by money. Just, just all of it's ran by money and yep. everything else. Ran by currency. So... If we want that to change and we want people who actually are going to get into politics for the right reasons, we need to learn how to vote responsibly and we need to fight back a little bit. Yeah. But then what I find, this is where I, I don't know how to put this. Whoever manufactured our delusion that you and me participate meaningfully in the process of running our own lives. Yeah. You can vote for whoever the fuck you want, but power still calls all the shots. Fair. Yeah. And believe it or not, even if real democracy bro broke loose, power could slash would uh, just make the economy scream until we vote responsibility. Yeah. Yeah. 100%. They're just going to put a, uh, yeah. Yeah. They're they're going to just be like. They're going to start. Ha -ha. No. <laughs> yeah. Prices, you know, they'll start oh, yeah. gouging or whatever and you know, make things happen. Making us hurt. Yeah. Financially. Because they can do that. Where's the, which part what are you looking for? Oh, no, no. I thought there was something else about voting in here. Maybe you just added that. The vote yeah. responsibly. 
Well, yeah, I, one, bet I was just mentioning that. That wasn't part of the lyrical read. The one read. thing that, with songs like this, okay, I really like the lyrics, but what's the answer then? You know? Yeah, because you literally the, just present us what, it's, it's with what kinda, the problem is. It's kind of like the libertarian point of view a little bit. Yeah. A little bit, you know what I mean? Where it's like, okay, so we're fucked. So what can we do to fix it? Nah, nah, you can't. You're just fucked. Yeah, yeah. That, that, that's not, that's literally no... how the song kind of went. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I know we're fucked. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so yeah, sometimes with, with that point of view, I don't really like it because there's no end answer for that either. Right. Well, I know we're stuck here now. Yeah. What can we do to make it better? And I don't. Instead of just uh, being like nihilistic. Yeah. See, that's the thing, like, with songs like this, it, it really drives home that thought of ignorance is bliss. Yeah. Because if, you have, if yeah. you're just ignorant to all this, 100%. You, you could be as happy as you right. fucking want. See, my brain races to the next step then. Yeah. So, okay, we're ignorant. Okay, learn. Okay, what next? Yeah. And there so, is no next. Yeah, fuck. <laughs> okay. But, but in this, you know, propaganda is very much about, hey, learn stuff, be smart. Use your brain. Yeah, yeah. But this one's kind of like, even if you do that, it, it just doesn't matter. In, in yes. the kind of. Kind of get that vibe yeah. from it. Not necessarily, yeah, I don't in know. In the overall scheme of who's in power and who's in control of things, if you fight back against them, they're just going to, you know, well, that's my, hog tie you. Yeah. It's a, the weird government. is It's it's such so complicated. Oh, absolutely. But they are absolutely right. You know, like when the government doesn't go the way they want, suddenly the economies. Fucking oh, yeah. up, or things work out way too conveniently. Not to get into like, you know, I don't know, but the yeah, ratings, I guess. Yeah, my rating for this one now, lyrically, I really liked it. Yeah, I wasn't a big fan of the delivery. Okay, overall, so that was my biggest niche with the song. So I'm gonna go with a, I'm gonna go five point eight and add it to a playlist. Oh, okay, I. Like, I do like the lyrics. Like I said, my own brain's the issue here because then it runs the next step. Like, oh, what can we do then? Yeah. And you then, want more. And then it's like, oh, someone's always going to be in power. Always gonna, somebody's going to be pushing buttons and stuff. Yeah, so it's kind of like, yeah. This is one of those songs that doesn't go and try to no. fill you with just. No, no. I understand 100% yeah. what this is. Yeah, 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 yeah. And like you said before, it's, it's, you're feeling it. It's filling in your ignorance. It's like, yeah. hey, if you think this is all great, hello, motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So. Um, I get that. It's my own brain is the issue here. So the song lyrics themselves, f great. Yeah, like 100%. Them. And um, the song itself, I was like, it's not bad. And I, but I, I always feel that way with Prop Gun. We've said this before in other re reactions. We just said it today. We're, we're going to get a fairly lower rating, but by the end of the week, I'm going to get a it's, call it's and possible. be like, yeah. hey, this song's like a 9.6. This, this is actually pretty fucking good. <laughs> um, but I'm going to go with a 6.4. Okay. Because I, I do. I Still agree a really with solid rating. Yeah, I agree with uh, a lot of what, what he's saying here. Oh, 100%. But like I said, what always happens to me is when people are like, oh, well, our government's fucked. And then it's like, okay. And then what? What government system doesn't have issues? Yeah, what do you want to do? Because you always have someone in power. Maybe it's not. I Obviously, I haven't really researched a whole lot into government types, still. I yeah. had to do a little bit for our uh, fantasy setting that we're working on. Yeah. So, but it's more medieval. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> I look at the futuristic stuff. So, yeah, that always, uh, I don't know. But, yeah, six, six, uh, oh, six, four, six, yeah. four playlist, yeah. That's yeah, it. guys, shout out to you for the Patreon request. Love the prop, Gandhi. Absolutely. I, uh, I I find it weird that I'm so slow with like warming up to them. I don't get that. You know, you I have that issue at all with prop, Gandhi. Yeah, where you're initially you're like, eh, and then as you listen to it more, it's, you're like, it's okay. happened a couple times. Nothing, nothing to the extent of yours. Yeah. Like how you're, you came in, I think one of the songs you rated it like a 5.7 and next thing you know, it's it like through, yeah. on a heavy rotation for you, yeah. which yeah. is mind blowing. Yeah. Uh, Adventures in Zucosis and yeah. uh, Negretto is yeah. those two both. Uh, I was like, there's such long intros too. You know, you were all about that. And then I listened to it and I was like, this is so fucking good. Yeah. And then I know. I've had more of the opposite happen. Where you don't like it after you listen to it? Yep. 
With Propagandi? No, or? just with any of our Oh, oh gotcha, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, Propagandi's always stayed right around or go a little bit up. Okay. Like this one, I, I rated 5.6. Yeah. It's probably going to be a 6.4 by the end of it. But it'll, it'll go but it'll, that it'll, area. Yeah. Yeah, no, typically it's like other genres. Weirdly, I haven't heard you say any punk music has fallen out. but I, No, that's because punk music hasn't fallen out. Really? Yeah. Not, not one? Nope. Really? Okay, that's impressive. I haven't either, but I know you, you and hip-hop. You guys... You We're, uh, yeah, we do. He struggles with hip hop. Yeah, because one moment I'll absolutely love a song, and the next moment it's like, why did I ever even think about listening to you? <laughs> yeah. Oh, it cracks me up. It's a whole thing. And then some days I'm just skipping past TI, and I'm just like, why am I doing this? And he's like, <laughs> I love this guy. <laughs> yeah. Guys. We're two boys, one brain cell. Got a little tangent on the outro for you. Charles Beast and Joel Norton drop down in the comments of who gets that brain cell. Until next time, guys, uh, peace out. I got to go get some sleep. My brain ah. is a fried. Uh, I got to go play it up. I was like, I have a thought process in here. I got a thought process. What? <laughs> yeah, it's like halfway through my sentence. I'm like losing what I'm trying to. It's one of those days, guys. Something's got you by that thought control, bud.